Okay, guys. Um, now we have done step number seven, exploration. We're going to do uh, step number eight, which is uh, we need two sprites for the rocket. This is for the rocket now. One for landed on the moon, uh, when uh, when it's resting on the moon, and one is when it's flying through the space, the rocket. So we have we need to create two sprite. One fly, one is resting because the before it jumping, you had uh, we deliver the mail. When you deliver, you're resting there, and when you jump to the end of the moon, we are flying. So two sprite we needed. So create one sprite called sprite landed using landed.gif and another one sprite flying using flying.gif. Center the origin again. We do the center origin of these two sprites before. So um, okay, before closing the sprite property form, uh, I click edit sprite button. We form, we appear like 3.4. If you scroll down the image content sprite, you see that it's content animation of the rocket turning about a full circle. There are 72 different images image, images at slightly different orientation, making it a complete turn of 360 degrees. So, uh, so in order to make a 360 degrees, you need to have uh, 72 different images which show that you are rotating in 360 degrees. Uh, rota rotating, probably rotating, uh, look like it's rotating, um, it's rotating, see, it's rotating uh, anti clockwise. Yeah, anti clockwise so rating anti clockwise seven you need it seven to the image so when you if you in your project if you need to have animation uh, something like this to rotate you make sure that you have seven to you have to create drawing using uh, for for illustrator or something so make sure that it sli slightly shift it shift it shift it shift it shift it see shift it shift it shift it anti turn seventy to two uh, seventy to image for complete round one complete round okay Okay, so let's let's do this. So we create an uh, object. So first, you go to the sprite. Yeah, right? create a sprite. Here you click here. So I did this one sprite. Uh, so we call sprite landed. See sprite landed. Type in sprite landed here, and you load sprite uh, from your resource menu. Find the landed. Uh, that's it. That's for the landed. This one. See, you can see the image is already. Uh, this is the image. Right, it's rotating because it got 72. In. We, we we got sub image 72 there. See 72, and you just uh, click open. Right, you just click open. I got to cancel this. So, and then uh, after you make sure that it, oh sorry, make sure that it is uh, smooth edges. Right, and that sorry, land it smooth edges and remove background. Yeah, you remove. You have to remove background. Smooth edges. Those two. You need. Okay. So then you have this, right? We have this, and you have to do. You make sure that you take collision checking. Tick here, precise collision. Tick here. This two is tick, and you have to do because it is uh, 48, 48. You want to center it. You click here the center, so it become 24, 24. It's half of this, right? So beginning is zero, zero is here. So 48, half of it here, and 48 half of it here. So in the exactly in the center. So that is the centering. Okay, so you click OK, right? So I will close this one. Sprite, you, have, you do sprite landed, and then you have to do sprite, sprite flying. So this is when it's flying. So load sprite again. Go to flying uh, first. Sorry, sorry. Name it sprite flying, right? Sprite flying, and load it with the image of flying. This one, see. It's quite different from landed because this one is flying. You need to have a fire there, see the fire of the rocket, the fire, and it's still rotating. Because uh, make sure that you remove background, smooth image, eh? everything, and then click OK. So these are the sprite flying, and then make sure again you do center, click center here. So it's 24 and 24, which is 40. But we want to make it in the middle here. So, if you want to see uh, 72 image, just just click Edit Sprite. You, there are all 72 image here. See, frame 72. We call it 72 here. So it's rotating, right? From here, go going up to up 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 to the left. Slowly, slowly, slowly. So image 9, image 10. Go 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 go. If you look closely, it is this upright. 
and then slowly turning again, turning again, turning again until turn it go down there, until it go here until it's turning there, turn it in there, there complete, completely 100, uh, uh, 360 degree one round okay so this is how you do animation right okay can I do this? Oh, see. there I use your preview, right? Okay, so click. Okay, save it. Click OK, and you have two sprites. Uh, so we're going to have. So so far we have four, one, two, three, four, five, five sprites. Eh? So this is all we did. So let's continue. Um, next, um, okay, next. Um, let's do the creating. The now, uh, now we're going to create. Uh, create new sound resources here. So. Okay, so we're going to create create a new sound resources for the game because we, every game have to be sound. One is for the sound of background, one sound for the uh, special effect. Okay, so create a sound from the resource menu. Uh, sound property has added in the blah 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 blah. Create a sound sound of explosion. Click load the sound. So okay, first you create create a sound. You can click either here, create the sound, right? Or, or you can create from here, edit, uh, resource, create sound there. Eh? It's the same, right? So I close this one first. Okay, <coughs> so what sound we want to use? One is the, uh, number two here, sound explosion. Select explosion dot wave. And click from, now create sound bonus and music background using uh, bonus wave and music so this music dot mp3 is for the background sound bonus is for the bonus point and explosion is when you, uh, you collide with some with asteroid you're going to explode your rocket so we're going to use this explosion sound so let's go this uh, create sound so we have uh, let me I just mistaken me this one. I mean, did it, did it. Yes. Did it, did it. Yes. Okay, next. So, click explosion. I did this one. Okay, so what you do is name it the so sound explosion. You type this one explosion, right? And then you click here, find the explosion dot wave. Go to your resource uh, menu, resource, um, resource uh, file. I think uh, the explosion right use this one wave the fifth and open the open and then after that you use you, you have you're going to have explosion the wave right and then uh, what you do you can test it out you can play here see some you can hear the sound there yeah. sound explosion right okay so then you click okay save it yeah you click okay save it and then uh, then you go to make create another sound sound bonus type in uh, add another sound uh, uh, sorry this right add here add sound create a sound and then uh, sound bonus and then go to your resource file and then yeah, click here bonus yeah? open the bonus file and then click open and then you should have bonus dot wave and it's, you can test it see test it ok so ok uh, then I click ok yeah. and lastly uh, create sound background you just create sound create, you create, create the sound and then you type in sound background again and then uh, uh, go to resource file and there uh, your background music there use this one for the uh, background music so click open you click open and you have background sound background dot blah 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 eh? test it up see uh, it's quite a nice sound ooh funky one so stop the sound first and okay, okay so we have three sound yeah so finish okay so hmm. now 
now we go to uh, we, we now let me begin for the action eh so we get action we have to use object now so moon and asteroid we will fly around the screen in a straight line in the straight line jumping to the opposite side of the moon when they go off to the edge of the screen so that mean this is called wrapping 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 screen we mean if we go go to the if the moon goes here go to the left to the right it come back come back here onto the left so like that wrapping wrapping same is the wrapping this way or wrapping up and down so wrapping so yeah going down and I come out here so it's called wrapping so create for the rest of create object uh, this one is called object moon okay and then in the object moon you create event and create, uh, create event and move uh, free action from the event uh, this action for required uh, required direction and speed so enter speed of 4 and random 360 that mean that mean there's the, the first you want to randomly flying in, uh, in any degree it can be 10 degree, 20 degree, it's like, but it's automatically random, eh? Random. So you're going to jump randomly moving around in the straight line, but it's starting from which degree? Uh, so it, it indicate random direction between 0 to 360. So then you do this. And okay, so let's do this. Go to object. I made this one already. So we do moon. Create moon. So you, you have to create an object first, yeah? You click here, click object, and then it come. You go and have a screen. Type in object moon, right? Object moon, and then you click this one. You have to click the sprite you want to use. So you you select sprite moon, right? This one, and make sure visible. Uh, and then you click go to add event. You create event, create, yeah, create this one, create. So I create, and then here <coughs> in the action mode, you click move you find move this is move or uh, move this is more fixed this is most free you want to freely moving the object so you just click this one drag here right so okay i am mistakenly did that so you're going to have oh uh, set it uh, set the direction of speed motion is self and then direction is random right you want to have random 360 so Speed 4 uh, 360 Okay And I click OK So now This thing is Random 360 And that one okay. And Where is it? Random 360 Okay So now we don't want to do wrapping Yeah at, at event choose other event outside the and select outside room from the pop menu into wrap screen into action uh, in the form the form appear should indicate the wrapping should okay both direction okay both direction that mean top to bottom left to right so you're going to have um, in both direction here so the moon object now ready to go blah, 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 and click okay so so now we're going to create the one, this one outside the room so what you do is you add event go to other and outside the room there so click this one yeah so you click that one you can have outside the room and the hard way you have to find the wrap so you go to here move right so go to here this one this one is wrap screen so you click this one drag it here and you have wrap, wrap wrapping and make sure that you click here to have it in both direction right that's why i have in both direction and you click ok so there that's it so and you click ok here make sure you save it Okay. So, uh, next one is uh, asteroid. Also, can be created in exactly the same way as moon area. However, to keep things neat, we want to make sure that asteroid appear behind of other object when they cross path. When when, when the object, uh, when when both we have one moon and one asteroid, asteroid. When asteroid come together with the moon, we want to show that the asteroid is behind, uh, like a 3D behind the moon. Right, we want to have the same same level make sure that the asteroid is going behind the moon so that's why we're going to create uh, this one is going to appear behind the moon and the east object is already drawn under which they are created so it's hard to be sure blah 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 uh, okay so what you do you have to change the depth using the setting object depth if the depth are small that means they are in the front 
if the the tab is larger, that means that uh, they they are at the back. Remember that. So so. To